Sunday, the 25th of September, 2022. First reading. A reading from the book of Amos. The Almighty Lord says this. Woe to those ensconced so snugly in Sion, and to those who feel so safe on the mountain of Samaria, those famous men of this first of nation, to whom the house of Israel goes as client, lying on ivory beds and sprawling on their divans. They dine on lambs from the flock and stole fattened wheel. They brawl to the sound of the harp. They invent new instruments of music like David. They drink wine by the bowlful and use the finest oil for anointing themselves. What about the ruin of Joseph? They do not care at all. That is why they will be the first to be exiled. The sprawler's revelry is over. Responsorial Psalm My soul gives praise to the Lord. It is the Lord who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. My soul gives praise to the Lord. It is the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. It is the Lord who loves the just, the Lord who protects the stranger. My soul gives praise to the Lord. The Lord upholds the widow and orphan, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. Sion's God from age to age. My soul gives praise to the Lord. Second reading. A reading from the book of Timothy. As a man dedicated to God, you must aim to be saintly and religious, filled with faith and love, patient and gentle. Fight the good, fight of the faith and win for yourself. The eternal life to which you were called when you made your profession and spoke up for the truth in front of many witnesses. Now, before God, the source of all life, and before Christ, who spoke up as a witness for the truth in front of Pontius Pilate, I put to you the duty of doing all that you have been told, with no fault or failures, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who at the due time will be revealed, by God, the blessed and the only ruler of all, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone is immortal, whose home is an accessible light, whom no man has seen and no man is able to see. To him be honour and everlasting power. Amen. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The sheep that belongs to me, listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who used to dress in purple and fine linen and feast magnificently every day. And at his gate there lay a poor man called Lazarus, covered with sores, who longed to fill himself with the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even came and licked his sores. Now the poor man died and was carried away by the angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. In his torment in Hades, he looked up and saw Abraham a long way off with Lazarus in his bosom. So he cried out, Father Abraham, pity me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in agony in these flames. My son, Abraham replied, Remember that during your life good things came your way, just as bad things came the way of Lazarus. Now he is being comforted here, while you are in agony. But that is not all. Between us and you a great gulf has been fixed, to stop anyone, if he wanted to, crossing from our side to yours, and to stop any crossing from your sides to ours. The rich man replied, Father, I beg you, then to send Lazarus to my father's house, since I have five brothers to give them warning, so that they do not come to this place of torment too. They have Moses and the prophets, said Abraham. Let them listen to them. Oh no, father, Abraham, said the rich man, but if someone comes to them from the dead, they will repent. Then Abraham said to him, 
If they will not listen to either Moses or to the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone should rise from the dead. Gospel of the Lord.